Okay, welcome to Codeo Challenge 6.2 Factorial. In this challenge, they're going to give us a uh, number and we're going to get the factorial of that number. So they're going to give us in and we're going to calculate the answer here. So uh, in order to do this, we're going to do two things. We're going to create a for loop and we're going to use the range operator. So the first thing we're going to do is establish the, the answer. So we'll call that result. And this is our result variable. Equals 1. And then now we'll create the for loop. So we'll say for item in range of n. Now this is the variable that they're giving us and so when you're using the range function the n is the starting point. So that's the first argument inside your parentheses. So we're starting with their input and then the next input is the ending point. So that next next argument inside that range is the ending point. So we're going to say 0 and remember, in, inside of a range, it never uses, it never goes to the uh, the last number. So if we put zero, it stops at one. And because we're starting at the number they're giving us, we're going to put in for the next argument negative one. So we're going to start with their number. We'll go to zero, but excluding zero, and we'll do it in increments of negative one. And We'll put the colon there, which I forgot to do when I did this one. <laughs> and now we'll say <coughs> result equals item times result. <coughs> and then print. Oops, print result. <coughs> and then we'll go over here and check it. And everything's good. So, uh, as I was saying before, you can write this in, in several different formats. So here we started with N. But if you wanted, we could start with 1 because when you're doing factorial you always go down to 1 and then stop at n plus 1 and go up in increments of 1 so if we ran this we'll check it everything's good so here we just did the opposite we just start at 1 we stop at the, the variable they're giving us in and we move up in increments of one. Uh, if you are using a range and you do not put this third argument, which is your step, it'll automatically go up one. So we check this again without that, you'll see that it'll go up in increments of one and it'll pass as well. And I just wanted to show you there's another uh, option here for it's called the and multiply operator and what that is is a uh, it's a times equal sign and so when you use this uh, operator you just uh, take that out right there so what it's saying is this right here means take result times it by i then make this make the result move to the left side and keep doing it until you go through the whole thing so this is a, just a a quicker way of writing out instead of just writing out result equals i times result and it keeps going through each iteration this is just a faster way to write it and so you just go over here check it and as you can see that too gives you a uh, the same answer so 
I hope this helps you understand uh, the for loop and the use of the range. And thank you for watching this video.